Do check your stone square. Your stone should be square. Off the top bed, that's the top bed. That's the top bed, that's the bottom bed. All right? This is gonna be my face here. So I'll check there, check that that's square. And I'll check here, check that that's square. So that's all, looks all pretty square to me. So what I'm gonna do now is I, I need to know where this chamfer is gonna go, all right? I'm actually I'm gonna use this side for the face, I think, in a minute. Right, that's gonna be my face. We've also got to check, we've got no defects in it. I can already see. If you look here, you can already see a bit of a crick in it. So you've got to be careful. If you've got a stone like that and you're working it in the workplace, you'll want to check with your foreman or your supervisor the best way to get around it. If you can use that stone, you can use it and the best way to mark an eight. If not, you have to get a new stone cut. If it's going to be really bad, be a new stone. Sometimes you may get away with it. Use this as my face. So, my bed mould now has got all the information on there where I've got to mark my section out. My section, show me the face and where it's clean. Okay. I'm going to mark a section on the front. I'll just use the straight edge of a square just to so that just slides on the front of the section. So you know that it's right, and so that it's touching there on top, that ensures that your section's marked out square. Okay, I can now, I will just scribe this in on that end. Put it scribed in on that end. Scribe it in nightly. Mark it out. stone pencil make sure you use the 10 inch pencil that we've got rather than a drawn pencil for marking this end and do the same again mark it on this end Top out, top line out, and the bottom line out with a pencil. Don't mark it out with a scriber. The scriber can sink down into your stone, and when you go to tool it off the scriber line, you're going to take it right down to the scriber line. You can take your chamfer under the line, so putting your chamfer under. Okay, so just use the top and bottom lines marking on the pencil. I've got that marked out straight through. I'll be able to mark on my Ashley stop now. I've got my Point to my bed mould. <coughs> I can use my section to give me the width to mark it out 
either side. square will join all my lines up all the way around the stone. So you're not measuring bangs every time you're marking it bang, the square can do all your work. And on this end, where the return and break is, I've got my point of a square aligned down from the top bed, I can mark face of my section on that square line and line it up to the top so that's ensuring that my section is applied square and not twisted. And line it up for the lines that I've marked on. have the, the chamfer project marked out and just as a little check I can apply my bed mould on top of my stone just to check that all the points have accurately been correct and they all look lined up to me. What I'm going to do is with Portland it's always pitch it. Okay, so we all know about the pitcher, we use the pitcher on a flat surface and we <coughs> line the pitcher up with our stone so this is actually flat on the surface we want to pitch. With the chamfer, the first pitch I would do, I would line my picture up, and if you have a look at there, I've more or less got the picture just hanging over the edge a little tiny bit. That will stop it pitching off down over the face. So I can just pitch it one way. What I would suggest is anyone move out the way a little bit in case the pitch hits them. If you get a good pitch, you should be able to pitch it more or less most of the way across the stone. We're pitching this end now, that should join up the pitch. Okay, so I've got nearly got rid of a lot of waste there. I've, I can pitch even closer to the line, so I'm going to do some two pitches, overhanging the edge so it doesn't pitch under. 
and then the last little piece there. Always clean the picture off each time. Get so you've got a clean edge for it's a network. So I, by looking at that, I've pitched off quite a bit, haven't I? You've got rid of a lot of your waste. That's the idea of the picture. And it's like working a flat surface again now, but on an angle. So it's get your drafts in, and if you've got a lot to punch off, you can punch it off, claw it off, and then finish it off with a poster. So I'm just going to go along and get my draft in. I've got a line going across the top bed, a line coming down on this clean end. So my chisel is going to be line up with the angle that way, line up with the angle going down that way. I'm just see, I can just ease it in slightly to get the correct angle. And I'm just getting a rough draft in first of all. Stop so far from the end so I don't knock a big corner off. And then come up from the bottom. Exactly the same way when you come up from the bottom. You notice. I'm now using the chisel of my body at a different angle, which is something which you're going to have to get used to. If this was a stone on my banker and it weighed a ton, I wouldn't be able to twist it up and move it around the suit. So I just have to get used to working on an angle. Got a, had a good pitch, you will have comparatively a little amount to punch off. What I'm now going to do is just go around and get the drafts in that quickly.
I've got that more or less in quite accurate now. And what I'm going to do now is finish it off with a claw. Get rid of the waste with a claw. Last bit, just going to tap it down from the top so it doesn't pluck out. Just make sure you've got rid of any high bumps on there. You can check it with a straight edge. I'll just check that I've got no sort of high bumps there. And that looks pretty much okay to me. <coughs> Ready to finish it off. With the poster. So I've got my draft in. Once I've got that first initial bit in, I can work between these two lines using the poster straight rather than on an angle like we did on a flat surface.
last little bit I'll just take off angles to stop it plucking out. Check it, same again as the flat surface, use the straight edge, <coughs> it's a little bit of black crayon and a couple of high spots which we can take down. with a little light dusting to get rid of all, any more bumps on there. way of checking that it is actually accurate as you put your section on the end again and you slide this across and if you can hear it can you hear it actually touching the section then you know that it's correct so that should be straight along that way you could also use the section to check that it's flat this way as well. As well as being flat across the face, it's got to be flat on the angle as well. So I ought to be able to put my section on there without it rocking with no bumps in the middle. And that should be flat as well. Okay. And then you can just give it a little tidy up Make sure you're happy with the tooling and that'll be your chamfer finished.